Yeah. I've lived here for 32 years and um, used to go to the cinema <laughs> in my youth. So my part in this project, my very small part but very interesting, is recreating the dado stenciling which used to run around all, all the way around the auditorium. You can find references for this sort of Alhambra design. If you look at the various elements in the auditorium, you can see this type of thing. So we knew there was a pattern there because there's old photos, archive photos. So we sort of knew what we were looking for. I went on site with Helen Hughes, who's a paint analysis uh, specialist, and we uncovered a section of the design. Um, and so we uncovered various sections of it, and I did a tracing of um, what was on the wall but the colours are quite interesting so when I was on site uncovering I also took my paint mixing kit and did so these are on site notes so this was me looking at the base colour and then working out what the blue was and so the original in the 1930s was, was would have been an oil paint I'm using acrylics to recreate it so I had to work out from these sort of fragmentary tracings how I was going to stencil it so this is my main drawing of the whole design. It actually it takes two stencils. So a stencil for this. So this is one of them. I've got the rest up in the studio. But then you basically can join them all together and make sure they work. You can now get, obviously you can get things laser cut. So you could have it drawn out on a computer perfectly. But that's not the point because I think it has a certain feel when it's all done by hand. Because I use um, little natural sponges because you can feel what's going on because they're soft so you can sort of feel the surface and I, I like that so you don't you don't have that much on there it's a very consistent tapping so that's the green looking okay there you go